A lot of time, and Rodgers going deep for a dagger early, all the way downfield, and it was dropped. And I'm, frankly, I'm not sure how he missed that ball. I mean, that was a touchdown. Your pass is part of who you are, and there's strength in that. What did you learn from your 2019 season when you were facing adversity near the end of season that you can apply to not only as a person, but as a player? Uh, I mean, that was the real first time I ever had really faced like real adversity. I mean, obviously I had some different times throughout my college career, but just being, just being hurt, I had never really been hurt in my career. You know, so just being able to overcome that and still try to come in and make some plays here and there um, and just get back to who I was before. You know, I think that was just the, the hardest part for me was just battling through that and just, you know, kind of hitting rock bottom and then just climbing my way back up. We need him to be a consistent performer for us because he does have incredible speed. He scares the defense when he's out on the field. Head coach Matt LaFleur and quarterback Aaron Rodgers have both discussed for you the peak for your success this season is finding consistency. How do you strive for that this season? Being the same guy every day. The end zone, touchdown Packers! Marquez Valdez, Scantling. Don't let anything waver you no matter what goes on. No one's gonna be perfect. No one's gonna, you know, make every single play. Um, that's just the nature of football. You know, we're humans. We're never gonna be able to make every single play. You know, no matter how hard we want to or how hard we try, it is what it is. Um, but just being that same guy, no matter if something goes wrong, being the same person you was before that play went wrong. The receiver that I've been most impressed with is Mark Wentz. Rodgers was bragging about him from the time training camp started. This is the new standard for MBS. That trust with your quarterback is huge, and you have that with Rodgers. It's very clear Rodgers holds his receivers and pushes them to a certain standard. What is that standard and striving for that like? Um, I mean, obviously, he's been playing in the league for a very long time. He's had, you know, thousands of receivers come through you know, Lambo. Um, he's seen it all. He's seen, you know, the, the best of the best and the worst of the worst. You know, so he knows what the standard is like. And, you know, for a you know, future Hall of Famer and you know, league MVP and whatever, the greatest quarterback to ever throw a football, you know, when he has a standard for what he sees in the receiver, you got to go meet that.